Peace, peace. Yo, this new balance joint is official. I got some more I'm going to show you. I'm going to put them up on the next video. Uh, thank you for everyone for subscribing, liking, and commenting. Thank you. Um, no, that's an actual fact. I don't think there's anything fake about this, man. This whole thing is definitely real. Um, I could believe that they created the virus and then they quote unquote create the cure. I think a lot of it is done together. You know what I'm saying? I could believe that. A lot of people are getting on Bill Gates and uh, Bill Gates to me is definitely something up. He seems very sneaky. And this is these are the evil scientists that our ancestors was telling us about, man. Just like you got brothers in the hood that's in the lab, you know, cooking up some type of experiment to give to people, you got these evil scientists, um, corpozoids, that's in their labs. Their labs is in their, it's in their houses, man. It's in their estates. Many of them, um, they got big estates that's somewhere um, on top of mountains, man. You can't even get up in there. A lot of times, it, it's barred off. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, the people who is... Um, who's there in these labs with these people, a lot of them are chosen. A lot of these people are chosen. Some of them turn whistleblowers and wind up getting killed. But just like you got brothers in the hood that's cooking up experiments, you got these corkazoids um, um, in, in, in the lab, in their apartments, in their estates, cooking up um, experiments, man, to kill people, man. You know Bill Gates always speaks about he's with population control. He don't see nothing wrong with it because these Europeans, they look at life differently, man. These Europeans is here based on survival of the fittest, right? A lot of our peoples, man, we having fun. It's like we just here. It's like many of us, it's like our DNA been here before. We, we played, we, we, you know, we worked hard. Now we just chilling. You got Caucasoids, they look at life totally different, man. Even when Caucasoids is in a fight, they fight to the death, man. We be playing, smacking them around. They fight to the death. You know what I mean? So, so, so I think that this whole thing is real. You know, I think this whole thing is real. This is why I told somebody else, when I wake up in the morning, I turn on the billionaire talk. I listen to uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, the dude that on Twitter, the dude that on Snap, uh, TikTok, uh, Bloomberg, because they be having conversations right in front of our faces like we're not paying attention and that that's because they don't see us really a part of the equation they know our value and they know what we mean to the system we keep it together indirectly we keep all of this together especially uh the black woman they're not going to tell you this right i heard somebody say do you think that uh blacks or africans are important um, to Europeans, do they care? Of course we're important, and of course they care, but it's a whole different importance, and it's a whole different care. It's a whole different energy, you know? A lot of times, um, I, I, I look at jobs. Downtown Brooklyn, I was working. I was doing um, labor work, right, with the construction company, and all I seen was dark-skinned brothers doing the most work. I'm going to be honest. Be honest, you know, maybe maybe I was bugging, but it seemed like when you see the hardest work being done, even with the Mexicans, it's the dark skinned Mexicans, right? This is something that has been programmed in, in half a society based on the media. You got to realize who's controlling the media. This is why I was telling the brothers on YouTube listen, you got the media on Smash, right? You got this uh, one dude named Popcorn, uh, one dude named Rowdy Radio. Uh, one dude named Ice Coleon. You got the, uh, my, my brother, um, Death of the Cloud Chaser, top media. I tune into him every morning. I wake up, his joint is right there. Take over this media, man. And listen, you got brothers like Corey King, Killer Kev, Wildcat. These brothers is doing their thing. Like I said before, man, they like hood superstars, internet superstars. I think they all talented, just using it in the wrong way. Imagine if they got with the media. These young brothers are um, Rowdy Radio and these other brothers. And one brother go to each brother one week and do an interview. And then y'all do like some type of um, compilation. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, these dudes, 
it's like you don't want to be too much into their business, man, because one young brother, yo, mind your business, and all right, it's all good. But these brothers have a talent, man, that is going to waste. It's not too late, man. It's not too late. They got it, man. They got it. CK, Killer Kev, Wildcat, Mel Cross, the rest of them, um, Tax Stone. Come on, man. Y'all dudes got it on Smash. And y'all just giving it away because a lot of these, um, a lot of these YouTubers, they're not making no money, man. They're just putting the business out there and exploiting cats and making it all look bad, man. Y'all need to get um, a hold of the media and get with three or four good dudes, man, and pump that um, material out. Just like how um, Clue got with Fab. Um, what's the brother? K Slay from Harlem got with um, Pat Poos from Brooklyn. Come on, man, and lock it down. Start giving brothers deals, putting that paper in their pocket for real.